All right, what's going on, guys? It's Valrico here, and today we're playing some Destiny 2 Crucible gameplay on uh, Distant Shores again. I think the last video I made was on Distant Shores as well. I always do good on this map. I know this map more than any of the other maps because uh, it was in the first Destiny game, and it was one of the... I don't know if it was one of the, f the favorite maps by the community, but definitely one of my favorite maps. Uh, it looks cool. The graphics are amazing. It just, it just has a cool art style. And I like the way the map flows. But anyways, I've been getting a little bit better in the Crucible. It's a bit tough because the way that Destiny's multiplayer PvP plays is totally and counter opposite to how I play any other multiplayer game besides Rainbow Six. Every multiplayer game has a certain style, but most, most multiplayer games have a run and gun style to it. And when it comes to Destiny 2, as you can see right there, you see how I'm letting my health uh, regenerate. That's something I didn't do a lot, and that would get me killed. Um, there's a style to every multiplayer game. And with Destiny 2, it is a more defensive style. Not a camping style, but a more slower-paced defensive style, which is ironic because they give you the, the ability to run and jump across the map but when you get in the area you know the general area where the enemy is it's best to not run out like a maniac uh, I tried to punch this guy in the back I really wanted to catch him but he got away you really by the way this rattler gun is really good this pistol called the rattler I couldn't believe that guy killed me he walked through my my fucking shield that I was putting up specifically so that when people walk through, it knocks your health down to, like, basically an inch of health. That's why I like using a shield. I usually don't, you know, at first I didn't use it. Not usually don't use it, but at first, when I was starting to get, you know, the hang of Destiny. Even when I played on the original Destiny game, I did not use the abilities to my advantage like I was supposed to. This guy's actually chasing me on the radar. And uh, this is actually one of the best spots on the map is to get right here on this little head glitch right here. And on the other side of the post to the right of me... There's another little head glitch where you can basically, you know, just pick people off as they run up the hill. And I get a couple of guys right there. Um, but anyways, back to what I was saying. This this Rattler's really, really good. It's, it's basically a pistol. It has high impact. So if you can get up close on somebody, you can really do some damage. It has rapid fire and about 20 bullets. It shoots really, really fast. As fast as you can click the mouse or, or the R1 or whatever right trigger on uh, Xbox. But anyways... There's a style to every multiplayer game. And I found that, you know, taking your time, not even so much sticking with your teammates, but not running out so much because of the fact that I don't know how it is with the other or the other character classes, but specifically with the Titan, you have better resistance to damage. But the downside is it takes look how see I got shot about five or six seconds ago and it took that long to regenerate health. And one of the biggest problems for me was running out with half health not really paying attention to the health bar because you know you can feel like especially with call of duty i'm such a veteran at it and i had to, i have to concede that i'm not as good with destiny as i am with call of duty because i, I don't have that as much experience with the game as uh you know so, uh, you know i should because i did play on the playstation 4 i played on console before i moved to pc and I really didn't play Destiny 1 that much. I thought it was absolute trash, which it was absolute trash in my opinion. There was no story mode. There was nothing. There was no explaining what the hell is going on. Even the, um, you know, Ikora or whoever would talk in your headset didn't explain shit that was going on. The, the, the ghost didn't explain nothing. You were just, you spawned and were running around. And you're just like, what the fuck? Like, what am I supposed to be doing here? What's the story? What's the main objective? Who's the big villain to kill? They didn't explain nothing. But that's another story for another day. Back to this multiplayer. Once I started to pay attention to my health bar, I started to do a whole lot better. And take your time. There's no reason to run out and rush. Even though the game gives you all the abilities to jump around and fly around and rush. Uh, as, you, as I did right there, flying across the map, killing that guy. They give you all the abilities to do it. But you don't have to. And it's not smart to do it all the time. Right there, I should have backed down. It's really, it's not that the game is competitive, It's it's got its own style, which makes it harder for me to play, even though I enjoy it, because of the fact that I'm a running gunner. I always have been and always will be. 
I like to run around, kill as many people as possible quickly, like right here. This is my favorite part of the match. Running around, slicing people up, fucking people up. Uh, takes my shield down. I try to. I thought maybe I could throw my grenade. I mean, not my grenade, but throw my shield, but I didn't have any more shield throwing abilities left. So, he ended up. I didn't realize that, you know, when you put your shield up as void, it takes your damage down. Like, it takes down your your, your length of how, to, how long you use it. So anyways, the game's fun, very fun, but also frustrating at the same time. I do wish that there was at least five people in the multiplayer on both teams. I understand that they dropped it down from six, which I remember six being very chaotic, but also very fun. And I feel like four is a little bit too little. I think that five would have been the sweet spot number. Drop, a, drop two players on each team, 10v10. That would have been the perfect numbers. I don't think that 4v4 is the best numbers to, you know, I just don't think it's the best. It's not the right number. I think 5v5 would have been better. I don't think 6v6 would have been good, again, because I think it was a little bit too chaotic. So I think the sweet spot would have been 10 on 10, the 10, uh, 10 player lobbies, 5v5. That would have been the sweet spot. Right there, I backed down. And that is from playing Crucible a little bit more and more and more. I really didn't play it that much because of Assassin's Creed and because of Wolfenstein. But that was a prime example on backing away because you don't you, you don't have the advantage. And right there, I tried to peek again. I was like, man, I really want to get that guy out of that corner. Then he comes back here and hits me with the super. There's nothing I could do there. But the first two times I was getting shot, I ended up getting the kill anyways. Uh, the first two times that I peeked in there and tried to, tried to get the guy, I almost got killed and I walked away. And the reason why you want to do that is because when you play as a Titan... The health regeneration is so slow, and like I said before, this game is very, very defensive. Oh my god, another guy fucked me up with this super. That gets frustrating. Dying from supers back to back is one of the most frustrating things ever. But anyways, that's all I want to say. I'm enjoying the, the, the Crucible. I'm getting, I'm playing it a lot more. I'm finally 280, which make, is like basically the zone to where ranking up becomes easy again. Uh, and that's pretty much it. It's a, I wanted to get this guy. As long as I got him, I'm happy. But the other, I got double team. There's nothing I can do right there. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, the subscribe button. I gotta go to the grocery store in a minute. So, I'm gonna um, cut this commentary short. Twitter.com slash Valrico. YouTube.com slash Valrico. And I'm out of this bitch. Enjoy the rest of the video. I could not ask for a better victory. I've recorded your session for the rookies. They'll have no excuses for sloppy technique.